Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm doing a quick tutorial on auto orienting your parts in Cura 5.4. So let's get started. So recently, I've been working to improve the ducts on some of my printers, and I just imported these two pieces. And as you can see, they're both oriented a little differently. And with this orientation, they might be harder to print. Now I can sit there and select each print and then select the sides and try to get it oriented correctly. Or I can just use one over the marketplace, the auto orient plugin. The auto orient plugin is based on some research from 2016. That is a set of equations on how best to optimize and orient a print. And for me, this is one of the plugins that I have to have and I use constantly. And for me, not having it in Prusa Slicer almost makes it a deal breaker for me. So I've installed this plugin in my instance of Cura. So you just go in, search for Auto Orient or Orient, and you can hit the install button and install it and restart Cura. Let me just show you what this does because it's pretty cool. So with my parts imported into Cura and the Auto Orient plugin installed, I'm going to try just slicing these and take a look at what it looks like time-wise. So when I slice, it takes three hours and three minutes. Make one more change here. Let me auto orient them, or I'm sorry, auto align them. I'll try that one more time. And so again, three hours, four minutes. And if I look at the preview, that's a heck of a lot of support material being used. Now let's try the same print if I use the auto orient plugin. Click the first piece, go to extensions, and then auto orient. We have two options. We have calculate fast and calculate extended. I just do fast. See it oriented it, which makes sense. So the flat side's on the bed. This should use less support. I'm going to click this other odd size piece. Go to extensions, calculate fast, and then let me arrange the models on the bed. And let's hit slice and see how long this takes. So you can see that takes two hours and 32 minutes. So just by auto orienting them, I'm literally saving, I believe, 32 minutes. So this plugin is, again, for me, a must have. It's one of the reasons why I can't, don't really use Prusa Slicer is because it doesn't have this feature. And I just find this very convenient and easy for any of my parts. Now, looking at the settings, I can get the extension or the plugin to automatically calculate the best orientation for all models I load in. I've chosen not to do that because occasionally I do find models that they've already been oriented for the best printing through most strength, etc. But this is one of the first plugins I always install in Cura. I use it constantly and I hope you find it helpful. Again, if you want to install it, you just go to Marketplace, search for Auto Orient, and there's the plugin. You're going to click the install button, restart Cura, and you're off to the races. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.